Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to basically turn your Android device, so phone or tablet, into a Nintendo GameCube. So I've got quite a few things there. I've got a USB, and this is what I'm going to put my GameCube game ISOs on. Right now, it's got Capcom vs SNK. I've also got a um, USB Type-C to USB adapter, so I can connect it to the phone and then plug everything else in. I've also got an external USB port, so if I plug this into the adapter, I then have a lot more USB ports that I can use. Then obviously I've got a GameCube controller, this is a Mad Cats one. I've also got a um, GameCube controller adapter, I'll leave a link to this in the description if you guys want to get one. And then I will also be using the Razer phone. Alright guys, so let's just start to set this thing up. So here is the Brook GameCube um, adapter. It's for Nintendo Switch and PC, but it actually works on Android. They don't actually mention that, but I have tested this before and it does actually work. So here is my USB adapter. And basically guys, this requires two USB ports. So I'm just going to plug them in here. Just like that. I'm also just going to plug in my USB with the game on. So that's just like that. And then I'm also going to plug in the phone using this adapter. I've also got a phone stand as well, so I can put the phone on top of the stand like that. So I'm actually just going to use a USB extender. Um, just so it's easier, so there's less stress on the phone's charging port. So I'm just going to plug this in like that. Right, so there's a blue light that's come on on the adapter. So hopefully that should be working. Let me just turn on the phone. Now it's time to just plug in the GameCube controller. I'm going to plug it into slot one. Right guys, so I've just altered the setup just a tiny bit, just so there's less stress on the USB port. Obviously, we don't want anything broken. Now, let's just test it out. So, let's look for the Dolphin emulator. Um, we need to find our game, so it's in my download folder. There is Capcom vs SMK. Um, we can actually use the controller right here to go onto it. Right guys, so one of the things we will need to do is actually set up a controller. So if you just click on the controller icon right here, then just click on GameCube controller 1, then just click on emulated, you then get a chance to set up the controller. So hopefully you guys can see it, I'll just move you closer to the screen. So guys, basically every time you click on A, it's going to come up this message, then you need to press A on the controller. As you can see, Brook, uh, it says Brook GameCube, then do the same for B. Press B on the controller, do the same for X, press X on the controller, and basically just go along and do all of these. So we've got Y, we've got Z. Right, so once that's done, you need to just click on this icon up here. It's then going save. Now you tap on the game and it will launch into it. There's also another thing you need to do, guys. You will need to hide the controls on screen. So click on the three dots, go to configure controls, go to toggle controls, go to toggle all, and then they will turn off. Now you can press start on the controller, start on the game, and you can actually play the game like a proper GameCube. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Let me just do a quick demo sort of game, I guess. So let's choose some character. I'm just gonna press start. You guys can't see it, but in the top right hand corner right here, it actually has an FPS counter. And right now it's running 60 FPS. So let's do a real quick game of a fight just to show you guys that this works. So that is pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.